Anybody hear? Oh, oh my, can anybody hear me? Hello. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm still checking my mic. <laughs> I feel your pain. Strides go laugh at my 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 meme in general chat. That's so sad. <laughs> it's true, man. I actually really wanted to watch movies. Nobody showed up. Well, actually, this is me a date or me naming Danny. Actually, I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch Ghibli movie this week with the uh, people because I haven't seen a lot of them. What movie? I'm not sure which one I want to see because I haven't seen so many. That but probably uh. Owl's Moving Castle. Okay, if it's people I know, invite me, because I need to watch that one. Yeah. I can't, I can't watch it alone. Anyways, let's get back into it. Marvel's Marco vs. the Weight Boss. 79 to 32 percent on each player. I'm sorry, on the players. I think this is like the farthest I've seen Marco go in uh, MS7 before. MSM Online, I think Marco has gotten top 8 out of regular offline MSM. Even though offline is still... Online is just as remarkable as it is offline, because it ain't easy. Yeah, there's a, a lot of playstyles you, you wouldn't be familiar with. Whereas at like local, you know pretty much all the players always there. Oh, I always forget that um, Tim Link's f is really good in this game. I just tell you, this character is like really underrated. I wouldn't even almost say underrated, I would say just underplayed, underutilized, because like not a lot of uh, Young Link as the character that shines a little bit more, but Young Link still has a lot of stuff. Yeah, he's definitely the least played out of Link and Young Link. Yeah, like, he used to be like probably the best player in Smash 4, arguably, just because he had all the things that Link needed to succeed without the knockback increase. <laughs> But Tool Link is kind of in an interesting spot where he's still good, he's just underutilized. I mean, we still have great Tool Links like Zan, who's, you know, just focusing more on school, but Marco is definitely one of the names that when I think about Tool Link... Uh, Wait, does, does Zan actually play Tool Link in the game? I thought you I guarantee, I'm telling you right now, man, being in those, uh, those grind fests that we have here in the 818 when we used to have them, if Zan played Tool Link, he'd still be the best player. <laughs> It's not even snow contest. It's crazy what he can do. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of things that Zan does still that a lot of players don't utilize yet. But Marco is definitely one of those two links that I think about. Like, oh, he is one of those two links that I just tell people you have to hear his name. He's really good. Yeah, he has a lot of setups as you can see. Yeah, I think that's one thing that I have to say that he's been improving a little bit more is on the setups. Back then he was about kind of like a little bit of raw gameplay like it wasn't that setup heavy but it's just like raw raw gameplay raw small confirmed but now i see marco definitely starting to utilize a lot of setups more especially like the one thing that people complain about all three links is they always have boomerang out but that's for a good reason because you can set up into a lot of it and cover up it's really great here listening because it covered roll get up get up attack I'm sorry, I call a roll get up and neutral get up and jump get up, so I think the only option that Wayne Moss could have gone for is to get up the back. Because you still have the invincibility. But then the bomb is gonna cover Marco, so that's why you go for a setup like that. Yeah. The stuff on Waymoss though, he's not out of it yet. Nice. <laughs> he shield checked him. He's like, are you letting go? Fine. Let me get this grab. Yeah. I feel like projectile characters, they made the links in general. Um, they're so good at conditioning to shield the projectiles that like you can get so many grabs with them, even though they have a tether grab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh oh. Oh, he dropped it. Wow. That was really good oh. opportunity. Awesome. He was just within the small range to actually get scooped up by uh, your husband. Close. Okay, but for Marco, yeah. Good good with the uh -oh. bomb play, just because it covers that. Now you're gonna recover. Oh no. Yeah, he's, 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 he's good. Pull bomb, pull bomb, yeah. But he can stick it here, yeah. 
No, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Bomb will, bomb will blow up, and now he can go for another recovery, and then yeah. That was what? Still that lost <laughs> Oh my god, how many downers? Mario spent way too much time off stage without dying. Yeah, that was good on Marco. He kind of held his DI great, but I, like I said, like you can still recover with bomb, and he knew when to pull bomb and still go for save. That was excellent recovery play from Marco. Oh. And he gets the hole in it. Ladies and gentlemen, Marco uh -oh. looking for this play here. Okay, Waymoth. Yeah, very good opportunity for Marco. Nice yeah, into my there. save. Can go for the spear thing? Nope, but he has the bomb oh. recovery. Oh. This is Nakro, yeah. Oh, what? I am sorry, I'm losing my voice here. That's. That was a back throw. Ah, you traded. Unfortunate trade deck for Marco. But, uh, yeah, really good. Really good stuff. That was actually crazy how he was able to survive so long off stage. I was gonna say, like, dude, Marco is doing an excellent job recovering. If he didn't go for that aggressive play, and if he would have gone for something much more, like, passive, maybe like try to just get up and or, or throw boomerang or one of those options like he would have been fine but the problem is marco was a little bit too aggressive i get it though this man was coming in with some heat because he was surviving all of wario's down airs hey shout out to lord bahamut with the sub man 34 months with the prime sub that is the prime example of how to use your prime gaming sub you get to see all the shambles and and ad free and you also get some cool emotes All right, be right back again. <laughs> Everybody press one for strides to get his Travis Scott burger. Man's is probably starving right now. with more Waymoss and Marco. Honestly, Marco did an excellent job surviving those downers from Mario, but nonetheless, Waymoss got the positive trade. I think that's one thing that Marco kind of needs to slowly work on like, um, as a player, but also like in general. Like, there are some aggressive plays that I understand, like what he did there. Like, he was going off stage, threw in bomb to try to get something here on Wario, because there's a lot of follow-ups he can do afterwards, but sometimes it's just better to just come back on stage and not worry about trying to trade or cover or something. Good DI, yeah, and also the fact that Town and City is pretty, pretty big boss. Nice grab. This is the back throw and good boomerang setup here. Very sneaky percentage here after 39. Gets the cover. <gasps> good play, good play. I like to see. That's what I kind of want to see a little bit more from Marcos. Just a little bit more patience, just so we can get things like jab right there in the situation and that's there he got earlier. Yep, look at that. The patience pays off. I don't agree with that down there, but I understand it. Good dash attack. Oh, I hear the bag. I hear the bag. Strides, strides. Come in, strides. Come in, strides. Are you there? Hello? Strides. Strides. Hello. Has the bag been secured? Yes. My food is finally here. After waiting for almost two hours, it seems. I, I kind of want to see the comments on this YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> Strides waits for a burger. Yeah. But, uh... I'm a, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with how Marco's playing this matchup. Yeah, definitely. I think he, it, it's pretty close, honestly. Um, no coming aggressive, Marco. Okay. Oh, that was okay. That was okay. Just because we're wild. Go for it, confirm right after that one. Excellent play. Yo, J-Mix. He's just gonna be here. Go oh, listen in, man. I'll say a word. Hey, man. Oh, that is 41? That was good. Yeah. <gasps> oh, that was a tough spot for Marco to be in. He might have gotten hit by back here. Yeah. 
Oh, that's interesting. I thought you would be able to get a follow from the boomerang hitting at that range. Yeah, this matchup's kind of interesting in the fact that, like, Toon can, you know, throw out so many things as he wants, but uh, if he doesn't lead to a kill, I, I don't think Wario minds that much playing, like, a long game. It yeah. just allows him to go to locked. He also just has a lot of flat out strong moves that can kill with rage too, mm. even outside of the wall. Good, good for Marco to go out there with the up air, just because Mario can try to land on that stage aggressively a little bit. Nice! I'm surprised Waymouse jumped into that. I don't think. I think his game plan wasn't thinking that, like, oh, Marco's gonna grab the bike, because you uh, the bike is not gonna be a slow grab. <laughs> but good stuff for Marco to just kind of like add in that. Yeah. Nice. That was a really good stream. Okay, like, at this point, Marco's biggest worry is, like, dropping his stock right now and then being in threat, dying to the walk. So if I was him, I would just not give, uh, when I was any free openings to get the killer like that. That's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I just at the ledge. I like it. I actually like it. It was a little, it was a little... A little too much, but I like it for Marco. He kind of knew how to cover that option afterwards. The cooldown on Toon Link's up smashes are ridiculous, so it just allowed him to like, all right, cool, I'm gonna shield your up smash and even call it GG's here and put me a one one piece. Yeah, kind of a rogue up smash for Waymos. Not gonna lie, but we'll take it. Okay, let's see what we most of the counter pick is here for game three. Battlefield? Okay. What, what is this? Oh my god. <laughs> it's a good one. Yeah, I have to give it credit. Oh my god. <laughs> There's so many uh, stupid Travis Scott burger memes. Makes no sense. Right. But uh, yeah, I think this page is uh, pretty balanced for both characters, honestly. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> this man said I want to take everything away from him. Damn. That was such a fast first stock. Yeah, that was. It's like hey, not. not it's not common that you kill Wario so early. I agree, Wario's weight is... I, I actually don't even know his weight class, to be honest, but like, his weight doesn't allow him to lose stocks that early. It's definitely above lightweight. Yeah, especially as a donor to get an early kill like that is so good. <laughs> That's what makes all three links ridiculous in this game. <laughs> They're actually, like, Rob in general... Oh, oh. no, way more. He uses Doe Jump in a very bad spot and fast fall in the bad spot, thinking you get the edge guard. Yeah. I was gonna say, like, characters like all three links and Rob are pretty ridiculous because they're the, not like one of the few zoners that actually has solid boxing tools, confirms off projectiles, and like relatively safe moves, like things like Link Nair, Rob Down Tilt, you know, just to name a few examples. This might be a three this man, Marvelous Macro, about to like speedrun Wario on any percent. No tool, no tool assisted speedrun on Battlefield any percent. Right now. Oh. Good call out. Yeah, Good hard call out. Call out. Damn. That was rough. Yeah. We must had all the time in the world to actually get up and shield that. And he kind of just 
took it. You can see that. Like he neutral got up. Yeah. He could have just did get up attack, I think. I think that was in range to get it by that. Yeah. That was just a hard call out from Mark. He's like, yeah, I know you're gonna shoot up into this. Very aggressive too. Like once he got that first talk, like pretty much steamrolled him, he's just like, okay. I'm I'm just gonna run away with this pretty much. The SD was unfortunate, but I feel like even with uh, without the SD, the way Marco's playing, I, I think that would have been a pretty solid win. Agreed. Agreed. I, I think I think it's funny too because both Marco and Gaming High are both from SoCal. I don't think they've ever played. No, offline. I don't think they live in the same. Like, yeah, I don't think they Marco don't. attends uh, a one eight tournaments. He, no, he doesn't go to any tournaments. He goes to the World Day tournaments. Shout out to World Day, by the way. Really, really great venue. Really, really great video game store. Oh, yeah, isn't he like affiliated with World Day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot what um, But he lives in the, in the uh, Los Angeles area, so World Day definitely allows for players who are like typically within USC range or Los Angeles. Like, usually they're, they're attendants. So Marvel's Marco is actually one of the few representatives from Los Angeles. Yeah, that's true. Huh? Yeah, him, him, Kairos, and Zuka are the few. Kairos was also in this tournament as well. He lost yeah. to that earlier. Kairos, Marvelous Marco, Bovan, and also we're all like amount for the Los Angeles area. Yeah, Bovan's really good. I think he doesn't enter this tournament only because uh, interferes with his work schedule, so he yeah. can't oh, sign he up. He's actually not working right now, but it's usually just up to him. I don't know why he doesn't want to enter Wi-Fi tournaments. Oh, he, like he told me he was trying to enter MSM, but he like never could enter, which is surprising. He's lying. Oh. I've, been, I've been trying to get him to enter the past seven months. It's cool. I'm sad too because before quarantine we were gonna go. I was gonna take him to MSM and then <laughs> quarantine. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, but it won't. Well, MSM will come back eventually, so. Yeah, we'll be back. That was just. I don't know if he timed that until to catch the bomb on purpose, but if he did, he's crazy. No tech. Yeah. Good tech chase on Wing Moss. Puts him in a really good position to get the edge guard. Oh but my god. A little bit too aggressive. Ouch. He's so lucky he didn't die from that down there. Yeah. I agree. Uh, I think Marco is looking a little bit too comfortable in this set right now. Nice episode, but uh, yeah, Marco seems very confident. Like, uh, this is what he's playing is like, he's very certain that most things he's going for are going to hit. And they, they kind of are. I'm kind of seeing the same struggle that Kirby had. Like, always jumping in that perfect spot to get hit by a projectile. Yeah, take a oh my goodness, the up beat sent the opposite way. This could be a call for Marco if he gets it properly here. Oh, he, he set up, yeah, he set it first. Good stuff to Waymos though. He, that's the first time I've seen him get up attack in this scenario where like an up attack against all the links is pretty solid on situations where they're like spaced on at the ledge, so don't be afraid. I don't wanna say that this is, you know, really bad for Waymos. You can Definitely get an early kill now, but yeah, he can. it's not going to come easily. I think Marco recognizes the threat of the lock for sure. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, he he, he knew that lunge invincibility was gone, and then oh. Moss. But I'm telling you, that was nerd. That's what I'm saying. Like Wayne Moss could be get up attack, but he wouldn't have to worry about that board though, because he would have been able to challenge you with the ledge invincibility with the get up attack. So yeah, get up attacks oh. way better, way better. In this game. He, yeah, exactly. Really, yeah. I'll call okay. off a lot on entering Wi Fi tournaments every day until he enters one. That's the mess I'm online. Fine. I don't care that he doesn't enter Wi Fi tournaments because he still streams pretty often. Yeah, he does. He does. It's not like he's just like not practicing online or whatever. Oh! Okay, man, Marco, man, he's not dropping the stock, dude. I think Wayne has right now, yeah, he, he, oh, he didn't kill, dang. But I think he has, he, all he wants right now is to get this stock without the waft, and then bank exactly. the last part from it. 
That boomerang, if it would have hit, if it would have hit, that would have been into a forward smash. Look out for the boomerang! Oh, this is rough. Yeah, this is a drop off. Super drop low. Off. Oh my god, oh. that boomerang should have been a good smash, but it's fine. Yeah, but go drop that on the bomb. Gee, look at the ledge pressure. So so rough for Waymash right here. This might actually be it. Nah, it's Wario. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I was gonna get this kill, man. It, ooh, there's the episode. Yeah. Yeah, double you just couldn't kill. get it at all. Yeah, and this was still even, too, because, like you said, right, once when.